Hi guys, back with another review. This time it's the ICOM Marine Radio. This is the ICM330GE. Um, no idea what it looks like yet because I thought I'd open it with you guys and see. So let's have a look. Um, well, I'm just having a quick open. Um, comes with a three year warranty. If you haven't heard of them, ICOM are one of the top brands for marine radios and also for amateur radio as well. Uh, so quite excited about this one. So let's have a quick open and see what's in there. Oh, we've got, uh, what's this? Oh, that's a good little one. I don't know if you can see that. That's the uh, ICOM and Lifeguard emergency uh, broadcast sticker. I'll keep that on. That's perfect for putting on your uh, boat window. Uh, tells you exactly what to do if you get into distress. Nice and simple uh, fitting instructions. That's uh, actually very nice and easy if you want to make it um, a flush fit. That's really good. That'll be the flush. That'll be the flush fit mounts then. That's how easy it is. Just uh, make sure you've got to hold the size of the radio and uh, screw those to the other side, and it'll keep it nice and tight. That's not about the latest uh, test calling notifications. The instruction manuals, which uh, as a bloke we probably won't read those to start with, but uh, you uh, inevitably uh, go back to them when you can't figure out how it works. And there we go, look how tiny that is. bits in a minute but let's uh, see what we've got here let's get that paper off that's a decent size some of these are ridiculously tiny but that's a nice size that one that is and uh, it's also got the buttons changing the channel with a dedicated uh, emergency 16 channel and you can, uh, you've got a high low as well for turning the volume and everything up. And your channel selection in the middle. That feels really comfy in the handle like that. It's almost a rubberized feel with an extra grip on it. With your little clip on the back to uh, secure it in place. I do like that, that's nice. Right, anyway, let's have a look at the uh, actual unit. That is ridiculously tiny. It's only just bigger than my phone. Nice simple uh, connectors at the back. Doesn't need too much messing around with your wiring. Should be uh, fairly simple. And you've got the wiring instructions as well. And then, uh, all right, so on the front, you've got your dedicated distress button, um, and then you obviously got all your channel buttons, your volume on and off power, and uh, all your changings and your menus. And it's got a built in GPS, so you'll get your GPS location to show up on the screen as well as the uh, channel ID. Um, looking forward to getting that fitted. That's definitely, I like that, that's really nice. So, there we go. That is really tiny. Typical, really good build from ICOM. But, yeah. Very impressed with that. Looking forward to uh, fitting that and see what happens. Have a look what else we've got. You've got your GPS antenna uh, with a, with your adhesive uh, pad on the actual antenna. With a nice long cable on it, so that'll uh, fit nicely on the roof of the boat. That'll uh, be no problems at all. You've got your little, got your little clip for the uh, the handheld, and there's the 
bits for on the side. If you don't want to mount it flush then there's your uh, mounting plate so you can attach it to that and then just screw it in by those two screws there so you can uh, have it mounted by that which is probably how I'll do it to start with and uh, get some extra long cabling so all in all very very impressed that is really good um, sorry about keep moving I'm just moving the stuff around but let's just one last look at this let's take this off so that uh, ooh, there you go you can have a look at it without the uh, protective cover on